What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Super exciting day today. We're doing a bass catch, clean, and cook. Largemouth bass out here at a private pond. We're going to tell you why we're cooking up bass today in a second, but we're getting ready to dump the boat in. Will casting off the boat ramp. How you doing? <laughs> Good, man. Good morning, Andrew. Show me that thing. Let's so see we that. got a... Uh, Look at that, guys. A little... Red eared sunfish or shell cracker a big around one. here, yeah. He's we're probably gonna... 10 inches at least. Yeah, he's a good one. We're gonna go turn him loose because we're not eating those today. Oh, I dropped oh. him. He's all right. Now, you said you said this pond is overstocked with bass, yeah. So, yeah, they've had a, a, a massive. Let's toss this guy back. Yeah, they've had place. a survey done, they've Beautiful. had the wildlife biologist come down, okay. And uh, they've had an electroshock survey and a uh water quality survey and all that and as you can see there's some really hefty panfish there's some great crappie in here uh, great sunfish that sort of thing but there's an overpopulation of small bass they've got some great big ones you know seven to ten pound bass in here okay uh, several they shocked up during the survey we might but catch one of those today but they're way overpopulated on the little ones and so okay. the directive from the biologist was to get the lake healthy again okay. we need to take several thousand wow of the small bass out wow. in a pretty short period of time so they're they're looking to get probably three to five thousand fish out over the next wow. couple of months so wow of uh i graciously uh, volunteered to help with that <laughs> same same <laughs> that's that's some good eating right there so fish under two pounds what i would say what they really want to focus on is there's not a lot of two pound fish in it because wow. of the class disparity in here wow. you're not going to see a lot of two pounders you're going to see a lot of 10 to 12 inches okay. maybe a 13 and then you're going to see okay seven plus that middle class is wow. what they're missing wow and that's what they really they're, they really want right. to focus on getting back is i mean obviously a 50 yeah. acre lake yeah. with mill full it's beautiful and, and it's the water quality is excellent it's spring fed gorgeous um it's I've been clear coming... like our trophy pond it stays blue yeah yeah wow it's, yeah it's All probably right. not because it's it's filtering down from another lake up above us that's wow. actually the spring fed lake but yeah. this they actually had a public pool right down here at one time an really? olympic sized pool that they filled up from this with a really pipe. Yeah, I used to swim down here when I was a kid. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, this house right here was just a little fishing cabin at the time. Wow. This is cool. Well, I'm excited to get out here. Let's dump the boats in. We're going to do a little competition today. Yeah, I think we're going to. we got two boats. Yeah, we're going to introduce some new products. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah we're going we're gonna to fish a little yeah. funk gel. We're going to keep the fish in something really cool. So yeah. I've yeah. got one. You've got one at the end of the day. We're going to show everybody how that works. And the we're just kind of. The net. So this is the final the final final prototype of the thump net we're going to be showing it to you guys today we're going to be keeping all our bass in yep. it actually yep so they started production yep. they start production this week they'll yeah. be finished with the first run of several thousand pieces in yes. about 30 days and by the 30 time days after that they'll be people will be ordering them yeah. and be shipping them to them perfect well by the time you guys are seeing this you can go ahead and get your pre-orders in on that thump net at the website link down below it's thumpnet.com i believe it's linked down below Go ahead and get your pre-order in. They're going to go fast. Oh, absolutely. These things are yeah. awesome. They're not that expensive. They keep, they, there's so many benefits, bank fishing, boat fishing, wade salt fishing. water fishing, wade fishing, yep. everything. We're going to show you that net in depth in this video. We're also going to, it makes keeping and cleaning fish so much easier and it keeps your live wells clean. It does. It holds every shell. Those shell crackers spit up, all the, all the scales, scales yep, slime, everything. anything that we get in your live wells. So pretty incredible. Let's get started. Will, right. What do you think? The most fish is the competition? I think we just weigh the bags on the cold weigh scales the, at weigh the end the of the day. Nets? Yeah. Okay, we'll weigh the thump nets. Uh, biggest one gets the... And keep your biggest. I mean, keep, keep your, your biggest, biggest separate. We'll, we'll okay. call to the biggest and we'll have two competitions. We'll weigh the total thump right. net and then we'll weigh the two biggest. Of, and if it's a seven pounder, hey, we're going to turn it loose at the end <laughs> yeah, of the day. We're gonna we're gonna gonna, We'll throw the big one back. All right. All right. So most fish and the biggest fish of what we're going after today. I got Monty Knight. He's casting over here. He's going to be in my boat. Will's going to have a couple people in his boat. So excited. So we're going to dump the old boat in on this private lake, thin out some bass. Show you this thump net real quick. I think we got it out. All right. So Frog Talks got their tackle back here. This thing's sweet. Holds 3700s. Here is the thump net. So check it out. This is the final version. It's got a zipper. I'm not going to move it around because he's taking pictures of it. There's the logo. We got a handle on the bottom. Super strong. I think that's some sort of Kevlar mesh. The mesh is super strong. It can hold a couple hundred pounds easy. But we're going to throw probably a hundred fish in there in one of these today. Show you how it works. 
you're gonna see more of that here in just a minute. Let's get the boats dumped in, start catching fish. Before we dump the boats in, Jaren's over here getting product shots. I can't let these guys be the only ones casting. Gotta throw this mock shad out there. Woo! Oh, Monty's hooked up with one. Wow. That's awesome. I'm gonna throw, take some of this with us. There we go. Hey, Monty, you wanna throw them in the thump net? All right. There we go. Throw some of this in my pocket. This thump shad is going to be the deal. Ooh, we're going to go cast around. Old mock shad. This thing is awesome. Just cast and reel it. That's all you need to do. Looks like the water's turning here. They ought to come eat this thing on top. Oh, missed him. Nope, they're going to eat it. Got him. Yeah. The old mock shad. They're going to eat that today, Monty. <laughs> Woo. The old mock shed. There we go. A ton of these today, I think. But we're going to have a shot at a big one, especially thrown around this swim bait. This mock shed is gorgeous. They trail that thump gel on there, they crush it. I don't know if we need it today, though. Don't know if you need the old thump gel today. They might just be biting everything. We will see. One of my favorite little baits for fishing for fish and clear especially ponds anywhere they're eating a little bait fish a little mock shad sweet i just started throwing it i like it okay i actually have the second gen version or the first gen version of the thump net prototype we did not go with red on the outside because it fades this black doesn't fade very well so this is better our other prototype had clips instead of a zipper. We like the zipper much better. That way, no bluegill, nothing jumps out in your live well. This thing is perfect. Then you can dump all your fish out flame at the end of the day. It's gonna hold a ton of fish. Woo! Well, we are dumped in and ready to go. Will hadn't even dumped in yet. What? He's catching shellcracker. He's caught three big ones. I got another cool bait I want to try. Never tried. It's a little little spinner by Strike King. This looks cool. You got another shell cracker? Yeah. Jeez. That's fine. I got one. I got a bass. So. We're keeping all the little ones. Yeah. All the babies. All right. Bass on left, Monty. Yes. Here, Will. Just hook, just hook him hook him on that. You sure you're ready for this kind of fight? <laughs> I'm ready. You better hook him in a good spot now. One little hook through the top of the mouth will do it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I could catch one, Will. Yep. 
Jeez. Big old shell cracker. That's so cool. <laughs> There's one. Yeah. Feel like this is a shell cracker. This is a shell cracker. It's fighting like a shell cracker. I got a shell cracker on the spinner. <laughs> Lonnie's hooked up. I gotta get this back camera rolling. All right, starting us off. All right, I'm gonna throw this patroller on him. A little chrome patroller. Yeah, that's a mock bait. It spins the opposite way of the plopper chopo. Ooh. Yeah. If we can get them on top water today, that's going to be hard to beat. Got one on that top water out there. Uh -oh. In the middle of nowhere. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm going to throw top water on them if they're going to eat it. Woo! Yeah, that old patroller. Oh yeah, what did you, what you got? All right, so this we're gonna rig. Right I'm gonna throw you this one on. This is the little little prototype right here. This is the mock crawl. It's a prototype, and it is awesome. Oh, yeah. I only got four of them though. Look at that. Yeah, Isn't man, that's sweet. A freaking awesome, a great it, punch bait. It's beautiful, and it flaps to subtle. Not as much as the rage crawl. It's perfect. He stole my tail. They are loaded on that bed. I know it. Gosh. Big old shell cracker. <laughs> He's got some healthy gills in here. Did I miss? I missed. Get in there. I know. Forget the red worms. <laughs> they want that fast moving stuff. Y'all can They stole my tail and they're eating it better without the tail, Will. This one's an actual bluegill. That's a big one. Shall I leave these big males in here, Will? three of them <laughs> that's a that's a flare that's, what I that's like. a flaming yawner sitting right up there when you don't even think you can see them. yeah smacked it wanted it that's probably one of those 12 pounder beds back in spring where he was this is where we need to come bed fishing in the spring and just find one of those eight to twelves i guess <laughs> oh got him he got something. yeah crazy putting a whoop on him now oh my yeah you do <laughs> Oh, we should have thrown him in there. I was going to feed him to Ned. Oh, well. Wow. 
Yeah. Putting it on him, Lonnie. Putting it on him. The old Crown Patroller. Whatever's most efficient is the goal <laughs> today. And if I see a giant on live scope, I'm gonna have to. You want one? This is uh, in the big compartment. You want this exact one? crazy how many fish are in here we're gonna catch a bazillion I'm not gonna keep the cameras going the whole time <laughs> they're in the waterfall money Oh, I missed. Oh, shoot. Get in there. Yep. They're all up in this grass, Monty. They're coming out of it. They're tapping it. Oh, they, they took the tail already. We just pulled the boats out. It's time to weigh them up. We have all of our bass separate from our bluegill. We only kept about 10 shell cracker and one or two crappie. We got all our bass in here. Will over here. You guys put all your fish in one. Well, so how are we gonna do that? They're all bass. Some of them are just bluegill bass, and some of them are shell cracker bass, ah. and some of them are crappie bass, and okay. some of them are largemouth bass. We'll weigh no, up. We, I mean y'all have obviously got us beat on the bass thing, I don't know. but I, we're, we're, we'll we'll separate ours out in a minute. So, <laughs> but here's the thing: I only had one thump net in the boat, and it was yeah. a prototype, and you had a prototype, had, and then you got the final version. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll weigh yours in the final version, dump the bass into your other net and then okay. we'll, they'll separate my bass into the net so we get a true okay. bass bass to bass. bass weight but now look y'all took one of my bass early and caught two before my boat was in the water so i think y'all to penalize yourself at least your three most medium-sized bass <laughs> yeah no as long that's still probably less than a pound <laughs> no a couple pounds all right we got the boba scale zeroed out here we're gonna go ahead and pull all these out. This at is, one time. At one time. Yeah. That's the cool thing about the thumb. And leave no scales that. in the live and oil. It's super strong. Holy moly. Check that's, it that's, out. That's, that's gotta Check be. Check it out. Somebody's calling me now. <laughs> 35 or 40 pounds of bass. Bad time to call. Bad time to call. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up. Just so nothing flops. They quit flopping around as much. Get that zipper shut. That's a nice heavy duty zipper on there. You can do that in your kayak or whatever, that way you don't lose them. I'm gonna clip it right there, Will. All right. All right. Oh, that thing might not even weigh it. Oh, all right. We have 40, it, it'll 40.99. 41 pounds. 41, 41 pounds of bass. Pounds. Mark it. Woo! Oh, yeah. pounds that'll work. That's a bunch of fish in there, guys. And all those are less than a pound, just about. So we probably got about 60, 70 bass in that thumb net right now. All right, we're gonna throw them in this prototype one. We did keep some shell cracker in there. You saw those, we got some monster shell cracker. I think Will and Jaron and Tina caught some bigger shell cracker, but we caught some <laughs> really nice shell cracker. Kept about 10 of those. I'm gonna go ahead and dump our bass in there. Super nice for transferring fish. This thing's awesome. Like I said, it's available right now to pre-order. Ain't got a handle on the bottom? Link below. Yeah, handle right there. That's a lot to transfer. Look at that. Man, I filled that live wheel up. Woo! Okay. All right, let's jump in their boat and weigh theirs. We got 41 pounds.
Even just catching fish in the live well with the thump net in it is yeah. so much easier than fish free roaming in the live well. They can't really go anywhere. They're still alive, but they can't go anywhere. So you, all you gotta do is reach in there and grab them. They can't swim away from you and go crazy and yeah. splash and do all that jazz. So. You separating the gills and the crappie from the bass, huh? Yep. I think y'all got us on the bass. We're oh, almost you're stacking done. them up. You're stacking them up in there. <laughs> I had some good fishing in the boat today. For sure. Yeah. You catch a big one, Tina? I did. Nice. Caught a really good one. You catch some big ones, Jerry? Oh, yeah. Big old blue gill. Mm. Grand. All, All right, right. Here we go. Time to tell the I truth. Can already, I can already tell you we are. Uh, yeah, I only got one. We don't have a prayer here, boys. Let's see. 1974. 1974. Look at, woo, that's good. 60 pounds of babies taken out of the pond. It's going to make the pond a lot healthier. All right. You want these to clean? Yeah, if you don't. If you don't. Got it. Well, yep. do you want some of those, Tina? I mean, we got all that. Yeah, take some bass. We're going to. Sure. We got a lot of bass. Or if y'all want to take the brim, we'll take the brim. Yeah, that, and that'll have work. All the bass. That'll work. They're harder. Clean. Yeah, sounds good. All right, that was awesome. We're gonna right, go clean them and cook them. All right, we are back at home. About to flay these fish. I I got a lot to flay here. It's gonna be a bunch. Will took a bunch. I'm gonna flay some up though. Woo! Yeah, that's awesome. We got both thump nets in there. Pretty sweet little deal. So, I cut the aerators off so they wouldn't all be jumping on me. I'm just gonna throw them in this bucket here. Let's see if that'll rest there. We're just gonna dump them in, just like that. Perfect. I'm gonna throw that thump net outside to air out. We're gonna start flying. There we go. That's exciting. I love this thing. Let's start flying some fish. What a day. Flayed up all those bass, that was crazy. So I know I said we were gonna do a catch and cook, but I ended up freezing them. So I'll show you guys the pack of bass here that we have frozen. Check it out. There we go, a lot of bass. We got a lot of bass. We got a couple of those full of flays. Bass are so good to eat, guys. But the bigger they are, I don't know, the worse they are, the thicker, fishier they get, but they're not really a fishy f tasting fish. So you get that 12 to 15 inch size range. They're perfect for flying, perfect for eating. Super good. But the thump nets out, here it is. This is the final final. I just got it in, so I'm showing you guys. Looks very similar to the one we used, except it's got another logo there really sweet so it is out pre-ordering available starting today you can pre-order it that is the final final uh, produced by thump gel and frog togs is the thump net so they partnered together on it sweet deal i helped design it and everything and uh, i love it so i got two of them i'm going to be using one for each of my live wells that way i can easily count transfer coal get two people's fish separated, whatever. I got two of them. It protects your live wells from scales, bluegill scales, uh, bass scales, shell cracker shells they spit up, snails, you name it. Shad, whatever they're spitting up. They don't get down in your live well, your pumps, your suctions. You can also put bait in them. Let them float over the side of the boat. Keep your bait, your fishing within them. You can wade, tie them onto your hip, fish rivers, trout fish, anything the best way to keep your 
your fish. So pre-order those now. The actual release date when you can buy them live is on the pre-order website, so you can check that out and see that and see when you can just directly buy these, but uh, they, we are ordering a limited quantity this first go around. Uh, frog frogs and thump jellies. I say we, I'm like I own the company or something, but I'm just working with them. They're ordering a limited quantity. I love them. You guys have seen me use them a ton. It's legit. So go, go ahead and put your name on the list. If you know somebody you'd like one, put their name on the list and uh, make sure you get one of those first, first uh, bunch coming over. So pretty exciting, but God bless you. Hope you enjoyed. The website to pre-order is linked down below in the video description here on YouTube. It's easy, thumpnet.com. Go to thumpnet.com, pre-order, and you'll have it before anybody else. But with that, we're gonna get out of here. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next episode here at Fishing with Norby.